Okay, so for the body of the pen, the Nakashima pen, I have the blank already made, that's drilled out. And then I need to make one of these. Uh, this is just black Japanese ebonite, and we're gonna be using the gray and black swirl ebonite. This is also 18 millimeters, but like I said in a previous video, I prefer to use 16 millimeters for the bottom and I like using this for the top, but being that the rods that I bought with this were 12 inch rods and 18 millimeters, so I can use the whole rod, use one 12 inch rod to make the cap, the body and the section all out of the same material, which is the way I used to always do things. Now I'm ordering, um, if it's just the basic black ebonite like this, I'm ordering and buying um, 16 millimeter and 18 millimeter. So there's not so much waste. And then uh, if you've seen the anatomy of the cap and body video, you can see what that looks like on the inside. This is where the threads are to receive the section. And um, this is for the cap threads here. Now, one thing that I've said before is that uh, this is totally different than kit pen turning or um, custom pen turning. This is bespoke because you're making everything by hand. Um, I've also said that if you have a metal lathe, this process would be a lot easier than using a wood lathe. So with that being said, um, if there's any hesitation about getting involved in bespoke pen making, versus just turning kit pens. You know, if you can drill a hole on a lathe, you can do this. It just takes a little bit more time and practice, but um, I think the results are, are better. Not that um, you, you're still achieving the same result with creating a pen or making a pen, as both items uh, will write. So, you know, it, it just depends upon the maker and what the users prefer. But um, with that being said, I still have a bunch of kits, uh, pen kits left, and that I haven't touched for years. And eventually I'll get around to them, but I still have so many different styles of pens that I wanna make that are completely bespoke before I go back to turning some kit pens. So with that get started, uh, this is um, the length of this right here which is three and a half inches, three and a half inches in length. And then I want to pay attention to the grain direction. The grain direction is running this way. And then the way my cap is made, I think I started it out going that way, but actually ended up going, going this direction like this. So that's the direction I'm going to follow when I make this right here. So we need to drill out the inside first using an 11 30 seconds drill bit. Okay, so I face this off, off camera, drill this out to the required depth of three inches. Now we're just gonna run the threads on here, 10 by 075, and then that'll go by pretty quick. Next step is to turn this down a half inch over to 14 millimeters. And I'm just using my calipers to measure the tap to come up with the same dimensions that I need in order to use my die so that these all match together. That is turned down and I have some mineral oil on there. Got my die ready to go.
we'll test our cap on that and see how that works. There, looks as expected. So off camera, I, re I reverse check this, put a dimple in here. We switched out the four jaw chuck to the collet chuck. I flipped the mandrel around to accept this double start on the inside now for turning the body instead of the cap. And you can see why we did that obviously. So now um, we just have to turn this down to 27 64 Okay, so I double check my measurements real quick and I need a quarter of an inch from here to here, which that is this mark right here. And then the rest of it, we're gonna turn down to 27 64, which is gonna be this outside diameter. We're gonna take the calipers. I'm gonna just mark that like that. So I know that this is the dimension that we need to fit the inside of the blank. And that's the good thing about having a set of these on hand is it's just a quick, quick grab. I can reference a chart or I can just grab this and then, um, you know, I'm going to put a piece of tape on here and then write the dimensions on it. That way I know, okay, I need to grab a 2764 drill bit to drill this out on uh, or when I drill out the blank. So that way it'll be a little bit quicker for me in the future. But uh, there we go. So uh, halfway through the process of making this. And the other thing is, it's really not necessary to make this fully sleeved all the way if you only plan on using a converter or a... Um, or a refill cartridge, but in the event you want to use an eyedropper, uh, meaning that you want this to hold the fluid by itself, you want this to be a self-containing leak-proof body. So that's why I'm going to uh, go ahead and do it this way, which is different than the way I've been doing other pens. But this is the preferred method. So here we go with the body. We're going to go ahead and build our build it out. We've got all of our components right here. Um, the overall length that we're going to end up with is going to be three and a half inches. This is already drilled out to match this right here, the 2764. Of course, it's dimpled on the end. I don't have that in face though, but we'll do that later. So. We'll go ahead and start off with one of the brass rings. Oh, that's a little tight. Put the other one on. There we go. The body, that line goes to the inside to match up to the grain. And then we'll put that on. And then this will go on here. But first, before I do this, I'm going to add some glue onto this right here and then put it on and then add the rest of the CA. But I'm gonna use uh, Gorilla Glue here, Super Glue, for the tail end piece. I wanna put a little on here also, just because.
Now, like before, I'm going to add the CA. Let that get into any voids and work its way around. You can see it come through the bottom. And that's good. And then we'll just let that sit overnight. And I got a little knot right there, which I want to add a little CA to also. And then that should be really nice come tomorrow to start turning. It's been a couple days now and um, everything's dried. I saved some time by sanding off the corners, relieving those edges, and then we'll go ahead and uh, get started turning. just finished sanding that to 330 um, I just went ahead and uh, after I turned it just go ahead and put a quick coat of sand we're back and I just uh, finished turning that down to my outside diameter of 15 millimeters and then started sanding it down from there with 180 220 and 320 and then now I'm going to go ahead and uh, further sand that down uh, with 800 a thousand and then move over into um, micro mesh from 1500 to 12,000 and then we'll come back when that is done okay I got that sanded and you can see the we got the section on there and that looks pretty good made out of the same material and you can see those cracks and crevices there was a knot right there like I said I wanted to keep all that and I'm not gonna fill any of those voids I want to keep it rough looking like that so we're getting close all I got to do now is apply some finish to this and then um, I just have to match up the cap with the body because if I screw the cap on that's all the way screwed on and there's no alignment whatsoever 
So the next thing I have to do, I need to remove this obviously. I'm going to reverse check this in here like this. And I'm just gonna sand away the, the face a little bit at a time and then come back and test the fit periodically. And then the more I sand away, uh, this will line up. So it's a little bit of a slow process, but it's, uh, it's really worth it. Okay, I got the cap lined up, so that looks pretty good. So this is the completed pen cap and body. And um, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. So the cap we finished in the previous video and the body we did in this video. So that looks really good. We look at the lower portion. Uh, that's a Joe number six nib. And you can see how far that goes in to that line right there. I'm sorry, the first line. And um, anyway, yeah, pretty excited about this one. Uh, this was just a concept pin, pretty difficult to do, and um, I don't know if I'm going to do another one quite like this one. Maybe, a, a, well, I'm going to do two different variations of it, but um, anyway, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Have a good day. Hey, this is Gabriel Castro. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. You can click on the link right here and subscribe. You can watch a video series right here or the latest video right here.